What's up guys? Crazed here with another Crazed video and I'm actually playing some Halo 5, a little bit of Fiesta Slayer, of course that's in the Action Sack playlist, and I'm playing with a good friend of mine, Splat. I love playing with him, man. I, I gotta tell you this story. I love, that's not much of a story, but it was just like really cool. I mean, I knew this guy from work. Um, yeah, he said he played uh, Xbox, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, I said, what's your gamer tag? And he said, splat. <laughs> I was like, awesome, dude. That was like the best gamer tag, I think, ever. <laughs> I was like, it's so simple, yet yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that gamer tag, and it's just like really fun. And we've been playing like since, I mean, ever since. Uh, played Call of Duty and Titanfall, and of course, Halo. Gotta play Halo. I'm like his Halo buddy, I think. Uh, I think he plays Halo when he sees me on. Otherwise, he's playing Call of Duty or... Um, oh, what's those other ones he plays? <laughs> I think Call of Duty is like his big one uh, that he plays all the time, which I love. You know, I don't mind Call of Duty. I, I like the fact that it kind of went back to retro, and I'm just kind of curious. I, I want to see what Call of Duty has to offer here at E3 this year for Black Ops 4. Um... I don't know. I mean, I skipped the last two Call of Duties because uh, the World, uh, sorry, World War II looked interesting. Looked interesting. Um, I think it, it was much better than the other ones that we've had recently in the past. Uh, but for Call of Duty, I've always liked the Black Ops series, and I completely skipped Black Ops 3 because it was just so jumping around -y and and uh, had specialist abilities. And I was like, this is like. Destiny except Call of Duty style and it's just like no no that's just not for me and I just absolutely just completely skipped over it was just like nope not playing that so so I'm kind of interested uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 what are they gonna do are they gonna actually go back to classic game or are they gonna continue on with the uh, super jumping around crazy stuff and running on walls and all that other garbage which I really hope not I really don't. Uh, if they go classic, I will probably get Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If they go uh, continuing with the uh, advanced mobility garbage, I think I'm going to skip another Call of Duty. I don't know. I don't know. But as for Halo, I mean, I really hope it goes classic. I really do. I think classic gameplay would really help. Uh, this day and age because every other game out there is advanced mobility and I just don't feel like it Halo is that game I don't think it really needs to be and of course people throw out there is like oh it, they're Spartans they're supposed to be doing this and that and the other uh, but at the same time wouldn't you uh, what are the, the lore facts of Spartans is that they weren't just grunts they were actually highly intelligent they, they had to be picked out, and they were very, very intelligent people, as well as incredibly physically uh, capable. Uh, that was one of the requirements before they got picked, and of course the genome definitely helped. Um, but that is just the way Spartans are. So, when I say this, if you want to make it all about lore, and whatever else, is like, um, how about we make the lore say this? It's like, uh, rather than using you are incapable of using all these spartan abilities and armor abilities and this and that and the other you have to know your maps you have to know your terrain you have to know your abilities you have to know when weapons are dropping you have to know stuff in order to gain those gain high grounds and to uh, take that advantage and use this the spawning system to your advantage wouldn't that be uh lore as well we don't need all the advanced movement. I don't think we do. And I'm really kind of hoping we do get a classic Halo in Halo 6. I don't know. I don't think 343 is going to go and backtrack. Uh, but I think it would be so beneficial. So beneficial in so many ways. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of the Master Chief Collection. Just I've been playing a lot. And one of the, my favorite parts about the Master Chief Collection is Halo 2 Anniversary. Because it looks incredible, it's absolutely fantastic, 
and it plays solid. It is just a solid little game, and unfortunately, it only has a few maps. And double, unfortunately, is that people vote for everything else, and I don't understand why. Unless you get into the uh, Halo 2 Anniversary playlist, I, I don't understand. I think it plays really solid, but again, Halo 3 gets picked all the time. And to me, a Halo 3 is a good game, but it's a little frustrating, especially with the BR. The BR just feels a little random. And I don't like that feeling. I like that to be a really solid. I like to know where my shots are going, how they're landing, and uh, I can plan, and at least I can blame myself for missing the shots and not just bullet spread or something like that. So it's my fault I miss, not the game's fault. So I remember I played a game last night and I completely shot the guy in the face, no shields, and yeah, uh, it didn't count. It didn't count. Uh, are you serious? Come on now. Ooh, there you go. Why are you chasing someone with a shotgun? Uh, I don't know what you were thinking. But, I mean, that's my thoughts on that. I'm really hoping for a classic Halo. I don't expect to see anything until E3. Now, Buckeye Breeze actually put out something that was kind of interesting thought. And, and I like the thought. I don't think it's going to happen either. Um, he put out the uh, thought that at the Halo World Championship, they might uh, say, hey, there's going to be a teaser trailer or a teaser something for Halo 6, you know, to really boost... Uh, the watching of um, the uh, the World Championship Series because hey, who wouldn't pop in and say hey I'm gonna watch this just because I want to see what's coming for Halo 6 I mean that's a really cool idea I really like that idea I don't think it's gonna happen but I think it's a really cool idea but I think E3 is gonna be the big reveal um, what we're gonna see there I don't know I'm hoping for a trailer and at this point I'm hoping for gameplay and a beta announcement as to when we're gonna see that um, I think that would be incredible I personally don't think that we are gonna see Halo 6 this year I, I really don't think so I think they're taking the little extra time um, best guess best guess cuz honestly most Halo games really don't feel complete until about six months afterwards. At least it has been in the past, I don't know what, past five years. Halo 4, Halo, Halo 5, um, they just absolutely did not feel complete uh, until at least six months. And even Halo 5 you know, took a little longer than that. And even, even now it doesn't really feel complete. I don't know if I'm going to get him. <laughs> I'm going to be stupid, though, and chase him down. Nope. Well, that's my point on that. I, I think they need to take that time. And we might even see a uh, summer release or maybe a late spring release. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm really hoping to hear something and soon. Because uh, as a Halo community, we need something to rally behind soon. <laughs> I, mean, I love playing Halo, but um, it's definitely definitely feeling it in the community aspect and especially on the online population uh, you can definitely feel that oh well hey look I got a double kill for uh, how did I get a double kill <laughs> oh I'll take it though I'll take it <laughs> I'm all about that I'll take free kills all right but anyways this video is just about ready to wrap up man I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of course uh, me and my friend Splat just tearing it up on Fiesta Slayer and uh, having, having some fun, man. I think that's really what we need to do. Have some fun with some Halo. All right, I'll catch you guys later. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.